grade 10 children welcome once again to our english lesson this lesson focuses on unit 11 of your grade 10 textbook this is the last lesson you are going to study for unit 11 in this lesson you will be able to practice grammar let's learn how to use past perfect tense correctly let's start the lesson children past perfect tense is used to emphasize an action that was completed before another action took place in other words when two actions have taken place in the past we use past perfect tense to denote the action which happened earlier look at this situation when i arrived at the station the train had already left When you read this sentence you can understand that there are two actions mentioned in the sentence one is i arrived at the station and the other one is the train had left now which of these actions happened earlier the train had left earlier or before i arrived at the station So I was not able to catch the train as it had left before I arrived at the station. So we have to use past perfect tense for the action which happened earlier of the two actions. That's why we use the train had left. It is in past perfect tense. Past perfect tense verb is used with had together with the past participle form of the verb. children there are many other situations in which we use past perfect tense let's look at this situation nisali had eaten a snack so she was not hungry here past perfect tense is used to explain or give reason for something that happened in the past in this situation nisali was not hungry because of an action which happened earlier in the past that is she had eaten a snack so to explain the reason for something that happened in the past we can use past perfect tense past perfect tense is also used to show some action that started in the past and continued up to another time in the past so the past perfect verb in this situation tells us how long an action continued up to a point of time in the past this is just like the present perfect but this time the action continues to a point in the past not till the present usually we use for to indicate time period in past perfect tense look at the example by the time she left the university she had studied there for 6 years She had studied at the university but she has completed her studies by now. So her action of studying continued up to some point in the past and now it doesn't continue anymore. We can also use past perfect tense to talk about unreal or imaginary things in the past. For example, if you had run faster, you would have won the race. This is conditional clause type 3. You will learn the conditional clauses which are also known as if clauses in detail in a future lesson. I hope now you can understand the form and use of past perfect tense. Okay children, now let's do an activity to practice past perfect tense. What you have to do is to fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verb given in brackets. So pause the video and do it now. Okay children, let's check your answers. Let's look at the first one. I blank finish my homework before the TV program started. So the homework had been finished before the tv program started so that is the action which happened earlier although both these actions happened in the past 
Okay, so we'll have to fill in the blank with had finished. I had finished my homework before the TV program started. Look at the second one. Ravi blank speak to his boss before applying for leave. So you have to fill the blank with had spoken. Ravi had spoken to his boss before applying for leave. Now the third one. The children blank clean the classroom by the time the lesson started. So what is the answer? The children had cleaned the classroom by the time the lesson started. So cleaning the classroom happened earlier than the lesson started. That's why we use past perfect tense there. Now the fourth one. They blank bring their lunch. So we did not provide lunch to them. So what is the answer? They had brought their lunch. So we did not provide lunch to them. The past participle form of the verb bring is brought. You have to use it together with had. Okay, now the last one. May the blank read the instructions clearly before she operated the machine. So reading the instructions happened before operating the machine. So how do you fill the blank? May the had read the instructions clearly before she operated the machine. So children, the past participle form of read is read. Though it is spelled same, you have to pronounce it as read. Okay, I hope you got all the answers correct. Children, now let's see how we can write past perfect tense sentences in passive voice. You have learned passive voice in Unit 3, Lesson 2 in detail. So if you have not watched it yet, subscribe to our channel and watch it first. As we have already learned, active voice sentences in the past perfect tense have this structure. Subject, had and past participle form of the verb and the object. Okay. Let's see how this sentence is written in passive voice. Here the object of the active voice sentence lunch becomes the subject of the passive voice sentence. And along with that, the subject of the active voice sentence, which is Radha, becomes the agent in the passive voice sentence. Okay. And remember, we have to add the word by before the agent. In past perfect tense, we make passive verb forms by writing had and adding the past participle form of be, that is been, before the verb which is already in the past participle form. Okay children, now let's do an activity from the textbook to practice what you have learned. This is activity 10 on page 120 of your textbook. Here you have five active voice sentences in past perfect tense. You have to write them in passive voice. Okay, pause the video and do it now. Okay children, let's check your answers now. Look at the first one. What does the sentence given say? The active voice sentence says, All the members had selected Inura as the president. So how do you write it in passive voice? Inura had been selected as the president by all the members. Now the second one. Somebody had taken my pen while I was away in the playground. So how do you write that in passive voice? My pen had been taken by somebody while I was away in the playground. Look at the third one. The thief had forced open the lock before stealing the statue. 
So the passive sentence is the lock had been forced open by the thief before stealing the statue. Now the fourth one. Nisali had arranged the classroom before going home. The classroom had been arranged by Nisali before going home. Now the last one. The active voice sentence says the principal had signed the letter before it was posted. So how do you write it in passive voice? The letter had been signed by the principal before it was posted. I hope you wrote all the passive sentences correctly. Okay children, let's do another activity from the textbook. This is activity 11 on page 120 of your textbook. Here you have five sentences and questions in past perfect tense. You have to write them in passive voice. So you can pause the video and try it now. Okay children, let's discuss the answers. Look at the first one. Someone had repaired the broken tap in the canteen. How do you write this sentence in passive voice? What is the object here? It is the broken tap. So you have to write it as the subject of your passive sentence. Then what about the verb? The verb here is repaired. So in the passive sentence, the verb should be had been repaired. So what is the answer? The broken tap in the canteen had been repaired by someone. Now the second one. The lawyer had not signed the document before submitting it to the courts. This is a negative sentence. How do you write this in passive voice? What is the new subject? The document. So you have to write the document had not been signed by the lawyer before submitting it to the courts. Look at the third one now. Had he paid the telephone bill before the due date? This is a question. So how do you write this in passive voice? As it is a question, we have to start with the same question word, had. After had, you have to write the new subject. What is it? It's the telephone bill. So your passive question is, had the telephone bill been paid by him before the due date? Fourth one also is a question. Had Tamara sent the invitations for the English day? The passive question is, had the invitations been sent by Tamara for the English day? Okay, the last one also is a question. Had Kumaran completed the work before going to sleep? What is the passive question? Had the work been completed by Kumara before going to sleep? Hope you got all your answers correct. Children, now we have come to the end of today's lesson. In this lesson, we learned how to use past perfect tense appropriately. We learned both active and passive forms of past perfect tense. I hope it was useful. Let's meet again with another lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.